Okay, we are making a cute little penguin out of Model Magic Clay, a little sculpture. And I made two examples here. Um, they do stand up. And I used regular purple for this one. You can see how much lighter the purple color comes out. And I used a regular blue for this one. You can see how light the blue comes out. And I also made a little background. So um, there's a place for my penguins to um, be displayed as little uh, penguin sculptures. Okay, so um, I decided this time I'm going to use a um, raspberry red color. And I am going to come up with a lighter color than the dark red. So I'm going to use a half a package of Model Magic Clay. So I usually cut the ends off and then just cut it right down the middle. And then the other half I have for someone else. So I'm going to open up my package and I'm going to break it up into about three even pieces. So maybe think about how you would build a snowman. Okay, with three pieces. Okay, and then whichever one is, looks kind of the smallest, okay, I'm going to say this one is, that one I'm going to put off to the side, and then my two other pieces are going to be for the body. So for the body piece, I'm going to flatten it out. color it, fold it in like a taco. Okay, I'm going to do that again, flatten it out, color it, fold it in like a taco. So I did try black um, and I didn't like it. It turned out very gray and I colored it so many times um, and I just think that the colors for the penguin are just so cute. So I'm going to call them pastel penguin pals. And so our colors are going to come out nice and light and we're not going to have black penguins that are black and white. We're going to have blue and white and purple and white. And this one hopefully will turn out to be a nice pinkish color. So I colored it three times and then I folded it in. And now I'm getting a nice light red pinkish color. So I'm just going to keep mixing it until I got a nice solid color. Okay, and an artist for this might be John James Audubon because he made so many bird pictures. And he was a naturalist. He made them in their natural environments. And he was also a scientific illustrator because he was making his artwork for a big book of birds. Okay, so I rolled it up into a ball. I'm going to break off a little piece for my wings. Okay, just a little piece that I can use for two wings later. And then this other piece, I'm going to roll it up and then maybe roll it back and forth a few times. Okay. And then, so it's a little bit more like a cylinder. And then I'm going to put my thumb through the bottom because I want just a little bit of air hole um, going through so that it's not all one solid piece. If it's one solid piece, it will take too long to dry 
and then when it does dry it um, will be likely to crack so if you get that little bit of um, air in there for the body it'll most likely last longer okay and then my other two little pieces just flatten them out maybe you might want to make them a little pointy on the end it's up to you and just connect those on the sides do little flat pieces for their wings and then I'm going to take this other piece and I want to make um, white for the face and the body So this piece I'm going to roll up into a ball, okay, and then I'm just going to roll back and forth. So again, it's more of a cylinder, and then I'm going to just flatten out that cylinder shape. Okay, so just flattening it out by pressing down on it. Okay, and then I want that to be about as tall as my penguin. Okay, mine was a little bit too tall, so just pushed it down there on the end. Okay, so now I have a good spot for his um, face and his belly. Okay, so my other piece I'm going to need for um, feet and a beak. So this I'm going to color in orange. So first thing I want to do is flatten it out. And then I'm going to color it, fold it in, okay? Always folding that in so that I don't get the marker all over my hands. And I flatten it out so that I have more surface area to color in. That way I can get more orange into the clay. To flatten it, color it, fold it in three times. This is such a small piece that two times probably would be okay also. And flatten this out a little bit so you can see. Okay, so next I'm going to break off a little piece for one foot and another little piece roll it into a ball flatten it out any shape is going to be fine or the other little foot or flipper I don't know what they're called okay and then I got a tiny little piece here for the beak And then I'm just going to take a black marker and make a dot for the eyes. Dot, dot. And it's all cute. Whoops. <laughs> so cute. All done. Now I have a little bit of extra clay. So I can use this to make uh, another baby penguin. Or maybe I want to make a little snow iceberg or a little bit of snow for my penguin to stand next to or maybe it's a little bit of a hat so let's say i want to make a hat okay i'm going to make a blue hat flatten it out color it in fold it up probably one more time will be good Flatten it out, color it in, fold it up. Now I'm mixing it up, get a nice pretty light blue color. Or maybe it could be a cute little scarf. Any kind of fun details you might want to add to your penguin sculpture. Okay, so for a hat, let's say, start with a ball, okay, and then maybe just sort of flatten it out 
on one side. Okay, and then make it a little bit more pointy. Kind of like a Hershey kiss. And then just gonna squeeze out the edges a little bit so it's like a triangle. And then I can just pull down one side. And I do have some orange left over too. So I could use that to make a little ball on the end. And how cute is that? And I could add that right onto my little penguin too. Okay, and good luck with yours. I hope it turns out just fabulous for you.